This presentation explores some of the new and dramatic improvements introduced in VMware vSAN 8 Update 2. The introduction of vSAN 8 in September 2022 represented a significant milestone for VMware, as the new Express Storage Architecture presented all new capabilities for our customers. We haven't stopped there. Much like vSAN 8 Update 1, vSAN 8 Update 2 builds off the capabilities introduced in vSAN 8 and delivers more flexibility, efficiency, and performance for your data center. You'll find most of the new features and enhancements fall into three general categories, flexible topologies, core platform advances, and enhanced management. Let's take a closer look at some of these new features. Delivering storage through a single method lacks the desired flexibility for accommodating our customers and their diverse usage scenarios. This is one of the reasons why we've introduced the concept of disaggregation to vSAN. vSAN allows customers to separate or disaggregate storage and compute resources. VMware is investing heavily into this effort, as you'll see with the new enhancements we've made in vSAN 8 Update 2. We'd like to start by introducing you to vSAN's new disaggregated HCI offering, VMware vSAN Max. vSAN Max provides petabyte scale disaggregated storage for vSphere. It gives our customers the ability to provision a vSAN cluster that can be used as shared storage for vSphere clusters. It's built using the vSAN Express storage architecture and will most certainly introduce new benefits for our customers who wish to have three tier architecture, but like the convenience and simplicity of vSAN. Let's take a closer look. vSAN Max offers true scale out storage capabilities that are simply not possible with some other dedicated storage solutions. One can simply scale out incrementally one server at a time to improve capacity and performance. This fine level of scalability is much easier to account for with budgeting and planning. Speaking of cost, vSAN Max can reduce your total cost of operations as well as dividing costs down by up to 30% in some conditions. Not only can vSAN Max accommodate all of your shared storage needs, but it can do so with a unified, single interface for management. Customers can manage storage in the very same way they manage other vSAN clusters, meaning that vSAN Max is the software that you already know. vSAN Max paves the way for assisting our customers in effectively tackling a multitude of use cases within their specific environments. While vSAN in a traditional HCI model has been wildly successful, vSAN Max helps address specific use cases for our customers, such as their desire to have centralized shared storage for their entire environment. Yes, vSAN Max can and should be considered for their next storage array refresh. vSAN Max can also address some challenging environmental and physical limitations, such as a customer's heavy investment in blades. Opting for a dedicated storage cluster via vSAN Max additionally empowers our customers to construct vSphere clusters strategically, thereby minimizing their application costs. At a high level, vSAN Max is a cluster of vSAN hosts designed purely for the purpose of providing shared storage to other clusters. Unlike disaggregation through our vSAN HCI model, vSAN Max gives customers the ability to deploy a vSAN cluster to be used exclusively as primary storage for vSphere clusters or augment storage for vSphere and other vSAN clusters. vSAN Max is built off of vSAN Express Storage Architecture, or ESA, which provides all new levels of performance and efficiency, as well as new capabilities native to vSAN ESA. It introduces all new benefits and use cases for our customers who demand the highest levels of flexibility and efficiency. VMware vSAN has offered some levels of disaggregation in the past, but let's take a look at one of the ways that vSAN Max distinguishes itself. First, we see traditional HCI, where we aggregate compute and storage resources into a single cluster. These resources serve as an exclusive resource of the cluster. Next, we see vSAN's first disaggregated offering, where a vSAN cluster could provide storage resources to another vSAN cluster, or a vSphere cluster. New to vSAN 8 Update 2 is vSAN Max. This is a vSAN cluster that will not host any VM instances on the cluster, but be used exclusively for the purpose of providing shared storage to other vSphere and vSAN clusters. vSAN Max provides tremendous flexibility in how a vSAN Max cluster is configured, but also how and what types of clusters connect to it. A vSAN Max cluster can be a traditional single-site cluster of up to 64 hosts. 
or for extra resilient storage, it can be deployed as a stretched cluster using a total of 40 data hosts. Client clusters can be either a traditional vSphere cluster, known in the UI as a vSAN compute cluster, or a vSAN ESA cluster. The client clusters and the server clusters don't even need to be managed by the same vCenter server instance. And no matter what the configuration, vSAN Max transmits storage traffic to and from the client clusters using the native vSAN communication stack, which provides all of the interoperability, efficiency, and extensibility associated with vSAN. Speaking of ease of use, let's look at how easy it is to provision a vSAN Max cluster. At the time of the configuration of a cluster, the administrator simply chooses if they want a cluster to be traditional, aggregated vSAN HCI cluster, a vSAN Max cluster, or a vSphere cluster that uses remote vSAN powered storage, which is known in the UI as a vSAN compute cluster. When choosing vSAN Max, one will have the choice of configuring the cluster as a single site cluster or a stretch cluster. The latter would provide resilient remote storage across two sites connected by an inner site link. That's all that's needed. Enabling the auto policy management feature on the vSAN Max cluster makes management even easier, as vSAN will determine what the cluster specific default storage policy should be configured as for optimal levels of resilience based on the cluster size. This makes subsequent provisioning of VMs very easy. Providing vSAN Max storage resources to a traditional vSphere cluster is easy. At the cluster level, simply click Configure vSAN services and select vSAN compute cluster. From here, the remote data store can be mounted and the storage is ready for use. If for some reason there's no longer a need for the remote data store to be mounted, the UI offers an easy way to unmount the unused remote data store. Ongoing operations of a vSAN Max cluster is as easy as the initial setup. In vCenter Server, highlighting the vSAN Max cluster and clicking on the Summary view will show a dashboard of critical information, such as the cluster health, performance metrics, capacity, and perhaps most importantly, the associated client clusters connected to the vSAN Max cluster. The widget expresses the relationship in a hierarchical topological manner, where one can easily click on the linked client clusters to view the relevant capacity information. These views will make understanding the relationships to other clusters easy and accurate. Let's look at some of the enhancements that are new to just the vSAN Express storage architecture and other enhancements that apply to both architectures. vSAN 8 Update 2 brings vSAN file services to the Express storage architecture. Customers now will be able to benefit from the performance and efficiencies of the ESA for their environments that use vSAN file services. All the capabilities of vSAN file services can be found in the original storage architecture as well as the vSAN Express storage architecture. vSAN file services in the ESA also benefits from a few additional recent enhancements, including an improved Active Directory configuration check, improved network configuration, and fast failover of protocol service containers when entering a host into maintenance mode. Since the initial release of the Express storage architecture in vSAN 8, VMware continues to optimize the stack. In vSAN 8 Update 2, we introduce an optimization with ESA's adaptive write path that helps the ESA ingest and process data more quickly. This particular enhancement uses additional in-memory I.O. banks to be available for processing full Stripe writes. The result is improved performance for workloads driving high I.O. to single object VMDKs, as well as aggregate cluster performance. The Express Storage Architecture in vSAN 8 Update 1 introduced a new adaptive write path to help improve performance for workloads that issued a large amount of writes, or highly sequential writes, to write the data in an alternative, optimized way. We've brought this enhancement to disaggregated topologies in vSAN 8 Update 2. Now, VMs running on vSphere or vSAN clusters, while consuming the storage resources of another vSAN ESA cluster, or vSAN Max cluster, will be able to take advantage of this capability as well. Not only will the adaptive write path technology in a disaggregated environment help your VMs achieve higher throughput and lower latency, but it will do so automatically in real time without any interaction needed by the administrator. The Express Storage architecture in vSAN 8 Update 2 continues to improve its performance with mission-critical VMs. We've optimized the I.O. processing in the upper layers of the vSAN stack that occurs between the VM and its objects, increasing the performance by up to 15%. The ESA's improved parallelism is particularly important for these resource-intensive VMs that demand high levels of I.O. per object. 
It will yield higher IOPS and throughput if the VMs are demanding it, all while delivering lower latency for more predictable performance. The faster the hardware specifications are for your ReadyNode hosts and networking, the more benefit you'll likely see in the environment running high-demand workloads. One of the hallmarks of the vSAN ESA is its efficiency, not only in data storage, but data processing. With the reduced effort it takes to process I.O., we've been able to increase the supported number of VMs per host from 200 VMs up to 500 VMs per host. This massive increase in VM density allows many of our customers to take advantage of the latest hardware to run more VMs over fewer hosts and build all new high-density cluster designs when the hardware resources can accommodate for it. While this can apply to all workload types, note that VMware Horizon is not yet compatible with the express storage architecture. We're also introducing two new enhancements for systems running vSAN 8 Update 1 and later that will help provide much more flexibility for our customers interested in running ESA in their environments. First is the introduction of a new ReadyNode profile. The AF0 ReadyNode profile is designed for small data centers and edge environments. With lower hardware requirements, such as 10 gig networking, this means that customers can enjoy many of the benefits of ESA, such as improved space efficiency and our new snapshotting capabilities for environments that do not demand the performance that can be delivered with higher ReadyNode profiles. Next is the introduction of support for lower endurance, ready intensive storage devices. These lower endurance devices may be used in many of the ReadyNode profiles and offer a better price point for environments that may not have high demanding applications. These two improvements make ESA the platform for everyone. Performance, resilience, and flexibility mean much less if a solution is not easy to operate. vSAN 8 Update 2 offers several new improvements that simplify the day-to-day -day operations for administrators. vSAN 8 Update 1 introduced a new auto policy management feature that helps administrators run their ESA clusters with the optimal level of resilience and efficiency. In vSAN 8 Update 2, we've made this feature even more capable. Upon the addition or removal of a host from a cluster, the Auto Policy Management feature will evaluate if the optimized default storage policy needs to be adjusted. If vSAN identifies the need to change the optimized default storage policy, it does so by providing a simple button in the triggered health finding to change the affected storage policy, at which time it will reconfigure the cluster-specific default storage policy with the new optimized policy settings. It will also rename the policy to reflect the newly suggested settings. This guided approach is intuitive and simple for administrators to know their VM storage policies are optimally configured for their cluster. The express storage architecture in vSAN stored data differently than how it stored data in the original storage architecture. To accommodate for this, vSAN 8 Update 2 improves the reporting of capacity overheads for the objects residing on the data store. This new ESA Object Overhead category found in the Usage Breakdown section of the Cluster Capacity Dashboard will report the overheads associated with processing and storing data through vSAN ESA's Log Structured File System, vSAN LFS. Clicking on the Information icon will expand a pop-up box that describes vSAN LFS overheads. This improvement will help administrators to more accurately determine the capacity consumption overhead with their storage system. The vSAN ESA not only delivers supreme levels of performance, but it's also easier to use. An example of this can be found with a new vSAN ESA prescriptive disclaim capability. This feature allows for an administrator to define a standardized disclaiming outcome for the hosts that comprise a cluster. vSAN will then attempt to apply the desired state to all the hosts in the cluster. If it's unable to apply the configuration, or if a host is no longer able to maintain the prescribed configuration, a health finding in the Skyline Health for vSAN will be triggered. The new vSAN ESA prescriptive disclaim feature will be a great addition to many of our customers who seek to simplify the management of storage devices for each host in a vSAN cluster. As the security capabilities of an infrastructure continue to become more sophisticated, it is important for VMware to ensure that vSAN can support these new capabilities. This is why vSAN 8 Update 2 now supports the use of KMS servers that use a key expiration attribute used for assigning an expiration date to a key encryption key, or a KEK. vSAN is now capable of supporting KMS servers that use this attribute. 
When a Keck has 30 days prior to expiration, the Skyline Health for vSAN will trigger a health finding reporting how many days remain for the Keck. When there is 10 days or less, a red error health finding will be triggered. Administrators can easily resolve this issue by performing a simple shallow rekey operation inside the UI. Skyline Health for vSAN continues to make the operation and optimization of vSAN easy and effective. In vSAN 8 Update 2, we've built on several of the improvements found in vSAN 8 Update 1. Triggered health findings will now be able to show tailored guidance based on the version of vSAN running and the topology that is configured. We've also included more information to not only help understand how to resolve the issue, but what might happen if the triggered health finding is silenced or ignored. The recommendations to resolve an issue are much more prescriptive and in many cases provide more than one way to resolve the issue. All of this adds up to resolving identified issues in your environment in a fast and effective way. First introduced in vSAN 7 Update 2, the Top Contributors view provides an easy way to determine the VMs that contribute to the most demand on the resources provided by the cluster. In vSAN 8 Update 2, we've made the tool even better, where we can help customers find performance hotspots not only for any given point in time, but now over customizable periods of time. Even more helpful is the ability to now transpose other top contributors in the same performance view, whether it be IOPS, throughput, or latency. The highly customizable view will let administrators quickly evaluate the VMs placing the most demand on the cluster and determine if some cluster host resources are disproportionately consuming resources in comparison to other hosts in the cluster. This new view will surely help make troubleshooting performance issues easier for our customers. Recent versions of vSAN made it easier for our customers to identify the source of a performance bottleneck. The vSAN IO Trip Analyzer is one of those helpful tools, and with vSAN 8 Update 2, we've enhanced its capabilities to perform an analysis on workloads running in a vSAN stretch cluster. Now, a user can easily determine where the primary source of latency is occurring in a vSAN stretch cluster, as well as latencies in other parts of the stack that may be contributing to the overall latency seen by the VM. vSAN 8 Update 2 makes configuration of stretch clusters and two-node topologies easier than ever. Customers now have the ability to tag vSAN witness traffic in the witness host appliance through the VM kernel configuration settings for the virtual appliance. This removes the extra steps and hassle needed to perform this tagging of witness host appliances traffic through a command line. In vSAN 8 Update 2, we've also improved the witness host appliance sizes available in the vSAN Express storage architecture. In addition to the large sized witness host appliance, customers running these configurations can also choose a medium sized witness host appliance, which consumes two virtual CPUs and 16 gigabytes of RAM, but will support 500 VMs. Flexibility, performance, and simplicity are just a few ways to sum up the capabilities introduced in vSAN 8 Update 2. Through enhancements with disaggregation, vSAN 8 Update 2 can separate or disaggregate compute resources in all new ways. Some of our core platform enhancements drive even better performance for workloads on the express storage architecture and do so without adding any complexity. Finally, we've streamlined operations in ways that offer advantages to environments of all scales. For more information on vSAN 8 Update 2, go to core.vmware.com.